Alright, testing recording number three for YouTube. If this works out, then boom. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright. So Joey goes to here after six long years of inactivity, not uploading a video, finally finding a full-time job where eventually I'm just going to up my uh, find a place in the company that I belong. That's right, everyone. I actually found a place where my skills are welcomed and I feel welcomed. And I, I'm also given the opportunity to grow and go further and even have the time and money to actually fund these projects I've had in my head for years. I've been writing, <laughs> like, a bunch of documents. So many documents. <clears throat> and it's just going to go up from here, I think. <laughs> After all the rip-offs, all the free volunteer service crunches with wanting you to do take your life, your finances, set them aside for some volunteer project that, in the end, you just get shanked for just for just skipping a, like a three days on a volunteer project. Meanwhile, the industry that actually does pay me, I actually, <clears throat> they actually treat me with respect. They're okay if something can't be done due to odd circumstances, mainly due to workload, the amount of feed input, IT tickets. As long as everything becomes fine in the end, it's okay. Especially since, well, I'm kind of what you would call an overachiever when it comes to things. And right now, I have one of my newest hobbies that... I wanted to get back into and actually try to practice when I'm not on my full-time working hours. I want to work on speedrunning. And this is the game that will help me help me get reintroduced to that. It's not too hard, but it's not too easy either. This is Dungeon Munchies, the game that honestly I want more people to know about and play and it's already had a big successful start. This is currently in Steam Early Access Beta, but this is a $13 game that basically comes like more content than any of the AAA games I've ever played. And that is, quite honestly, something I've been waiting for years to, to play. There's no microtransactions for unlocking additional cosmetic weapons that actually do an additional task. No, 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 no. It's something more than that. You get to try new things, you get to replay, and on top of that, the you can temporarily uh, go into arcade mode if you want to try speedrunning attempts over and over and over again. Since it, you get to keep your save here and do more from there. So what I'm going to do... <clears throat> is I'm going to start this game from scratch. I've already beaten it. I've already got all the achievements. I've already 100% it. But it's a fun game. Let me show you Dungeon Munchies, everyone. Now, as you can already see, we're a zombie. And zombies do what zombies do best. They basically... Oh, well. Um, the company that works on this is still fixing some... Oh my gosh, that is actually kind of funny. The funny thing is, I don't think it actually... I wonder. Okay. No, that's just him just doing the, uh, the Michael Jackson right there. All right. Hi, I'm Matt, and I want to teach you about Dungeon Survival. 
If you're really feeling hungry right now, don't worry. It's a very special feeling that grows inside every zombie when they come out of the ground. But over time, if you don't take care of that special feeling, it can cause serial organ failure. That's why you need to eat. I'm here now because I made a mistake and forgot how to follow Simmer's instructions. I wish I had listened better. Go find some and take care of that special feeling. Don't be like Matt. Don't become a skeleton. Nice plastic bag. This friendly interdimensional pouch keeps your groceries fresh. And of course, Tab does your inventory. You have two very broken fridges here. And you don't jump in the grass trap. By the way, you're supposed to dodge roll these, but honestly, hi, I'm Megan, and I also want to share my survival experiences. Did you know that to many creatures, zombies are actually a healthy, delicious source of food? I didn't, and look what, what happened to me. This dungeon is full of creatures that discriminate against the undead. Nobody wants to share their food, and most creatures just want to eat me. If I could try this again, I'd want to get a weapon like a stick or something to protect myself. So, of course, it'll grow back, it'll grow back. You know, maybe I should have talked to him before I grabbed the stick. So, as you can see, it is too tall to grow, so I'll just grab that. It's branded here with more of your top 10 hottest survival tips. Before that, I want to congratulate you for making it here. Very few zombies have made it in here in one piece. You can thank Simmer for putting you together so well. Anyways, to start off, we have Big Mozzies at number 10. If you're a zombie suffering from debilitating hunger, you might want to try the local protein-rich delicacy, Big Mozzies. They can even taste like shrimp if you just imagine it. But watch out, because they need to be cooked. If you eat them raw, your stomach will fill with air and explode. Yikes. Oh look, another weapon. Acorns. We just need to grab a handful of mozzies. Just a handful. And now we are off. And now, time for the simmer. Ah, after one to ten thousand years, I'm free. It's time to conquer Earth. With a free lifelong premium subscription to Simmer's Cooking Lessons. Satisfaction guaranteed or double your money back. Uh, I've been looking for you all morning, boss. I just want to report that Tyler blew up the gas canisters. Hey, I was in the middle of something. It's just Tyler. Can you take care of it? Well, this is awkward. Let me get to the point. I'm your creator, Simmer the Necromancer. I need an apprentice who can inherit my culinary arts, but because of there's kind of a shortage of skilled labor down here, I created you to do the job. For example, do you know why you can't eat raw mozzies? Because BOOM! All that wind magic's gonna blow your head up if you don't cook pro properly. It is possible... <clears throat> is it possible to learn this power and prepare magical dishes that are delicious and safe, you ask? Not from an amateur. That's why you'll need a limited edition hardcore copy of my introduction to magical cuisine. You've made it here, which means you're the smartest zombie so far. I'm sure you'll learn quickly. I need to step away for a bit to literally put some employees together. In the meantime, study that book and study it well. Bon appetit! And this is where we create the big mosquito jump. With Fry Mosquito, we now have a double jump ability cooked from Simmer's Hot Pot. Of course, you can always unlock more. Report on Dungeon Survival by Kyle. Simmer kept telling me to find a pot to cook with. I'm not really sure what that entails. I was really hungry, so I ate the mosquitoes raw. I then proceeded to explode. Luckily, 
This game prevents you from eating mosquitoes raw. Yes, that's right. It is completely foolproof. Now, watch as I make a second weapon. Also, I didn't like him anyways. We can now make a new sword. Of course, we can either do a secondary weapon or keep our range weapon. Mind you, the nuts are not exactly engageable in water. <clears throat> now, let's further progress. By the way, if you want to learn more about this game, I've currently been creating a wiki page for this. It's in development, but I made sure that the developers are well aware that we are creating the wiki page. And, of course, they will help me if I actually am missing any details. So, without further ado, I present Dungeon-Munchies.Fandom. You know what, I'll just put it in the description. There's a small note here. For Simmer, employee safety is of the utmost importance. When a worker dies on the job, they will be resurrected at the cost of the company. 100% free real estate. That way, all employees are empowered to work for eternity without a care in the world. That's right, guys. You working overtime? Well, guess what? Everything is awesome in the world of the undead. Funny part is, they don't actually attack you. That's right. They'll only attack when attacked. <gasps> oh, look at this piece of poop. Oh, wow! <laughs> Those bugs are treating me like crap! If only I had stayed together with my cone. Oh, thanks for helping me with the bugs. I wish I had something to thank you with. If you could help me find my friend... I'll tell him we owe you one. I think I'm going to just stay put. It's a proven strategy for fighting missing team members. And of course, you actually heal from p these points that you get. Also, trash cans just give you full health. Welcome to the official training camp. We've worked hard to prepare for you. For you. Let's get orientated. Hosing down that old rusty cart was the most work anyone's done this week. Don't mind the turd near the entrance. I'm thinking about cleaning that soon. This dungeon is full of magical creatures. You get all sorts of magical powers when you eat them, but you'll probably die if you don't cook them. What is the right way to season the big toad? How do you even eat a slime? The only way to know is to read my complete works. I gave you the first volume, but this isn't some kind of book giveaway. You'll have to work for the rest. But I believe in you. I can't wait to see you struggle through the challenges facing you. Don't get too cocky and start with the three basics. Monster hunting, ingredient cooking, and collecting, and mm, food cooking. As your supervisor, I will be working hard supervising you from here. Get to work. All right, we're getting to work. As the ulti platinum tier nationally accredited necromancer around, it's only natural for my employees to have best benefits. You see, back in the day, I made a killing out of resurrecting overworked office workers. A dead workforce is an inefficient workforce. That was my core value proposition. See that large recycling bin next to me? I've applied a fully automated corpse assembly spell on a bunch of these. Whether you've been cut up and filleted, blended, or digested, the closest bin will collect your remains and quickly put you back to work. All right, and of course, increase swimming speed. Trust me, this is a good speed running tactic. As even though you don't see too many pools of, of water, when you do, it actually kind of helps. And of course, 
These are teleports. See this cute little shrine? I've also applied a fully automatic teleportation spell to a bunch of these. You can activate them by offering your prayers. Activated shrines can take you to any other activated shrine. Isn't that convenient? The spell actually just tears you to bits. We then carry your bits to the new shrine and put you together. That's essentially what a teleportation spell does. It's more cost effective this way. I don't offer healthcare or holidays, but all benefits sure make this pla a great place to work. <coughs> no, <coughs> holidays. And of course, we are now going to create yeah, we would need that shield. Let me show you a good speedrunning tactic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rather great defense. Sometimes has a gauge on it. Huh. How long can I hold this up for? Huh. Hi, I'm Kamul the Weapon Crafter. The boss created me to make weapons, but there's nobody to make weapons for. I'm starting to have serious existential concerns. For example, how can I be a weapon crafter if I haven't made any weapons yet? Wait, do you need a weapon? I think I can be of assistance. Why don't you give the stuff on? Why don't I give you the stuff on the truck? Because they're not weapons; they're just PVC displays. Please don't move them. At least some of them are actually legitimate weapons. Mind you, in this version of the game, it's a lot easier to defend yourself with here. Oh man, I notice how I get slower every time. This is how you harvest crops. Now, if you got through this far in the video, guess what? If you keep on watching till the end, there will be a giveaway. That's right. I will give you, well, actually, three random people that comment <clears throat> on this video, like, favorite, subscribe, will get three copies of this game. Well, actually, there'll be three winners, each getting a copy of this game. That's right. I'll be giving away three copies out for my own wallet and there will be future giveaways that I'm actually not actually kidding about because honestly you guys deserve it because you made it through this far in the video that's right you actually made it this far in the video And now we are going to cut through snails like butter. Snails are probably the more annoying enemies in the game. Well, mainly because you can have so much little to deal with early on. And on top of that, the next fight is quite literally just shrimp. That's right. You're fighting shrimp. They're the pretty weak as you get down. Not really. They're actually pretty, pretty painful. And as you can see, I could actually speed run the, through this water because I'm using mean fish. And I just need to cook them. I'm also bashing this guy by spamming my right click. If you hold down your right click, you defend. But if you bash by tapping the right click, it also does the same amount of damage as a secondary. Now since I've pretty much already done this, I'm now just going to swim by, hold out my shield, and say, Goodbye! Alright. And here's a banana! I'm a banana! Eat me! Don't hesitate. <clears throat> it's your warped sense of morality playing tricks on you. I want to be eaten! Eat me! You have been eaten, sir. It is filled with a sense of purpose and satisfaction. Also, invincibility frames 
are actually pretty powerful in here. Now, just so you know, the if you play arcade mode of this game, which is you can switch to either the beta version of this, which is rather slow, or you can switch to the arcade version, which actually has a little bit more difficulty to it, like less invisibility frames in your dodge roll, or your dodge roll just outright not defending your for that. Well then, you automatically know what I'm getting into. In fact, this is the only way I can do a deathless run. I just need this frog resource. Oh yeah, that's right. I already have enough frogs. So I just need two mean fish. There you go. Dragon fruit frog, 200 meters ahead. <clears throat> That's not an invitation. Entry prohibited. Thank you for your cooperation. Yep. Oh, for a second there I saw, I saw a secret. Hmm, I wonder if there's any secrets in this game. Hmm. You were saying I haven't encountered happy grass rolls yet? Which was after the grilled shrimp? And before the electric snails? Actually, wait. Hmm. Well, it costs one banana to do additional three damage for every melee attack. Now this is also great, but you also want guava juice. Very exceptional, even in the late game, it will heal 3 HP every 10 seconds. Now, this is actually relatively great, except there are alternative heals, like healing 6 HP every 6 seconds upon being hit. So you will heal upon being hit, but Guava Juice is more of the natural healer, and if you're really good at dodging in the game, but if you don't want to take a strong blow and actually heal, Guava Juice is the best drink to go for in-game builds for those who are more skilled. There are, of course, better for the more beginner item sets, but that's how you can not die. <clears throat> for now, I can either raise my health, release electrical discharge, or every four seconds I do a melee attack, I do an extra 15 points of damage. Of course, I have three slots, so I'm going to use them all. Now, if I collected a toad leg, I could actually do a poison. Excuse me for a second. Officially called the water chicken in culinary circles. Toad Poison is relatively great for melee type weapons, and actually stacks with a later item that is tend to be my favorite. Now I can either do Poison, or just straight up Axe, somewhat a question. Now Poison is great in this game, however it can only do so much. You have the snail shell, and you have the shrimp shell. So I could either make a shield which actually does increase damage or I could just do axe and shield and just go from there for now since I need more DPS with my attacks I can actually use this instead dragon nut harvesting is strictly forbidden by order of the lord of the forest with a Resign giving some very interesting thing suggestions. Now, of course, we got everything we need. We got all our buffs. I don't need that extra heart. Another fool of rice to challenge the might of our great lord. I'm afraid the only thing that awaits you is a painful demise. The Necrochef fears our power and sends nothing but our pawns. 
How churlish and how fruitless. You are not fit to set foot in this forest. Every step you take is a blasphemy onto our sacred dirt. Return to her kitchen and never come back. Well, you heard the guy. We're, let's go in. Hey, didn't you see the sign I made? The Lord Protector ordered me to protect the nuts. She also said that the Necro Chef can't have any. Are you working for her? She's only ever since skeletons. Uh, so much to think about. I just want to do my job and get my salary. Okay, if you don't get out of my sight, I'm going to beat you up. If you go anywhere else, I'm going to kill you. Got it? Which, he's actually relatively just a pushover. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. Just beat him to a bloody pulp, and he's pretty good. That's right. My gluten-free rainforest friendly ion na enhanced nanostorm, you broke it. I'm getting a little grumpy right now, <laughs> but it's just work, so I'm going to let you go. I guess I can't stop you from being to the fruits. They also grow quickly, so maybe nobody knows. For now, I'm just going to sit here and put a sit size. Please don't bother me. And trust me, you might want to talk to him after you beat him because he just he's just lonely. So this is your brutish declaration of war. Very well. This will be your undoing, ape. The Lord Protector shall be informed of everything that has conspired. Those that trample on the forest shall taste the cleansing fire. Well, and you want to collect these, as five should be enough for the later part of the bounds. Whoa, you actually got to the orchard. That's crazy. <clears throat> I was the one supervising, so it's only natural that you're exceeding my expectations. But don't get too full of yourself. Now that you've gotten this far, that stubborn old lord of the forest will probably come after you. She's been a real nuisance by hoarding all the all the rare ingredients down here. She's just a spirit like me. Not all spirits are as nice as me. But come, but enough about her. Did you know this is the only place that dragon fruit can grow down here? Eating it makes you breathe fire. Looks cool on the outside, but third-degree esophageal burns are no joke. Dragon fruits recipes are covered in the next volume of my recipe collection. I'll be checking in on on you every now and then. Just go out there and kick butt. Now, of course, this allows us to do a additional attack, which we actually don't need. It's relatively cool, though. However, since we actually collected some parts of the weapon, we can now make weapons like this. Or this. You actually just want to make the sword. If you play in arcade mode, though, currently this will actually use a slime instead. So I recommend collecting as many shrimp claws for what you need. Two shrimp claws for the spear, one shrimp claw for the sword. This is my bit of advice for now. And with the first boss beaten, you can now go on about your day and have some fun. It's been like 29 minutes so far, so I think you guys can just have a little fun. Alright, see you next episode while I try to continue this in a no-death speed run. Thank you, and have a nice day. See ya!